Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the celebration of this Holy Mass. I would like to offer this Mass as a Thanksgiving Mass to Our Lady of Fatima for the time we spend here in the presence of our Blessed Mother and that we may continue to experience her protection and her guidance and her light as we journey in Our Lady's footsteps. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I would like to offer this Mass for all our parents, for the gift of life they have given to us, both living and deceased. And it is incredible joy to offer a Mass for our parents in the Shrine of Fatima and to remember them and to thank them for bringing us into this world. And if they are deceased, may God grant them eternal rest and also comfort us and console us. Lord Jesus, you are our good shepherd. You continue to tend and care for us. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the eternal lamb, lamb who is willing to sacrifice and die for us. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the gate to heaven and lead us to your eternal presence. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Father, you have given us the mother of your only son to be our mother also. Grant us that by obeying the appeals of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may always work through prayer and penance for the kingdom of Christ and attain eternal happiness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <coughs> A reading from the letter to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, let love be sincere. Hate what is evil, hold on to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Anticipate one another in showing honor. Do not grow slack in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Endure in affliction. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the Holy Ones. Exercise hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Have the same regard for one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not be wise in your own estimation. <clears throat> the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Responsorial Psalm. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. God indeed is my savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior. With joy, oh, I'm sorry. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. You is the great and holy one of Israel. Give thanks to the Lord. <clears throat> Acclaim his name among the nations. Make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Among you is the great and Holy One of Israel.
The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste, to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the law would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, as I said, we're offering this Mass as a thanksgiving Mass for the gift of this opportunity for us to be in the presence of our Blessed Mother and to ask for her protection and her guidance and her light to shine upon us as we continue to journey in the path of our Blessed Mother. And as we are in this day third, we are also celebrating a memorial feast of the visitation of our Blessed Mother as we visit her sanctuary of Our Lady of Fatima. It is such a rejoicing and to recall and to celebrate the gift that she has given to us in the footsteps of our Lord Jesus. Every time we come to a sanctuary, a shrine, there is always a sentiment, an emotion, and we leave behind a memory and we carry something with us. And it has been our faithful journey throughout many journeys that we take, we visit, we touch, and we leave our petitions and we go back home with full of hope and also we carry the light that Blessed Mother gives us. Never to give up but to trust in her prayerful intercession and assistance. And that is the power that continues to guide us, inspire us, and draw us from moment to moment of even in our most challenging and difficult situations. Blessed Mother always gives us that assurance and hope. And that's why we always run to our mother and ask for our intercession. And today, as we, it is our third day to be in her presence, let us really thank her for this joyful moment, early morning, and sun is still to be risen, and yet we are here in her presence to celebrate, to offer, and to thank, and to show our gratefulness and gratitude. And this is our faith. It gives us hope, light, and grace and healing. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's all kindly stand for the prayer of the faithful. God, our loving Father, we thank you and eternally grateful to you for the gift of a blessed mother you have given to us. With trust and confidence, we bring these prayers and petitions. For Our Lady's continued blessings and the strength that she gives us to shine on our Marian journey, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. 
for all our families and loved ones, both deceased and living. May they all attain eternal life with our blessed Mother and the Lord our God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Father Ravi, for his strength, his guidance, and his love, for taking us on this spiritual journey, and for all his fellow oratorians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions that we have brought on this journey, be they ours or those we love, may our blessed mother intercede on our behalf. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> for all those who care for this blessed, sacred grounds, may they find the strength and light from Our Lady to continue in their work. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us think of our parents for a second and for the gift of life they have given to each one of us and thanking God for them in our lives. If they are deceased, may God grant them eternal rest. If they are living, may God give us strength to continue to love them and appreciate their gift to us. We pray to the Lord. As we begin our journey today, as we travel, let us ask the protection of our Blessed Mother to travel with us and to dwell among us. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, we bring these prayers and petitions through the intercession of Our Lady of Fatima. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name. Heavenly Father, we offer you these gifts of preparation and of praise, so that in celebrating this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, you may absolve us from our sins and guide our wavering hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks as we celebrate the feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary and praise you for your gifts. She receiving your word in her immaculate heart, merited to conceive him in her virginal womb, and in giving birth to the Creator of the world, she prepared the birth of the church. She, in receiving at the foot of the cross the testament of divine charity, received all men and women as her children, born to eternal life through the death of Christ. She, when the apostles were awaiting the coming of the Holy Spirit, the promised one, united her supplications to the prayer of the disciples. 
and thus became the model of the supplicant church. She then finally elevated to the glory of heaven, surrounds with her maternal love the pilgrim church, and lovingly directs their steps to the heavenly dwelling place until the glorious coming of the Lord. And so with all the angels and saints, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy. Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and our local bishop and all the clergy, religious, and your people. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed, especially those of our parents who have gone before us. Give them eternal rest, light, and peace in your presence. And for those of us living, give us comfort, consolation, and healing to continue to be pilgrims here on earth. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with uh, St. Joseph, a chaste spouse, with the apostles and all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As one God's family, as one community, let us pray in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we await the joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you.
This is Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Most gracious and loving Father, may our sharing at this holy table make us holy. By the body and blood of Christ, join all your people in brotherly love. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended in peace and love of Christ. We'll all have God's blessings and you all have a peaceful day.